So in this video, I'm going to title this video Knockdown Stitch Part 2. We're going to deal in lettering or text with satin stitch and also fill stitch for the knockdown. Your lettering, your satin lettering and your fill lettering doesn't absolutely have to be the same font, but it's better if it is. And if it's not, then you really should do it really close to the same font. So to get started, real quick, we're going to do uh, satin stitch lettering. I'm going to pick a font that I know is on my system. The Deja Vu Serif. I know that's a, that's a standard font that's on my computer. This says it can scale up to 150%. So I'm going to run it up to 150%. And type in my favorite word, Linux. I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to lock in the ratio so that it doesn't change. Stretch that out a little bit. And then we can unlock it. That's it for the satin stitch. Now let's go on to the underlay or the knockdown part of it. Again, Linux. Uh, under text, I'm going to scroll up to the Deja Vu Serif. Hit apply. Not going to worry too much about size because I'm just going to stretch it out anyway. And I'm not going to keep the lock on because it doesn't exactly match when you do a satin stitch overlay. So this will work. Go back to objects. Make sure my text is highlighted. Hit path. Object to path. Anytime you're working with system fonts, make sure you do the object to path. And now you have each one of the letters is a path. Now from there, we're going to do uh, go to fill stroke, fill and stroke under fill. Make sure this icon is selected. Every time you ever do a break apart, you'll thank me later. Now we'll go into ink stitch and fill tools, break apart, hit apply. Hit close back to my objects layer. Sweet. Okay. Here's where it gets interesting. On this text, we're going to go to path, path effects. And if you don't see this little plus button, scroll down. Sometimes it gets lost underneath. So you need to hit that plus button. Scroll down until you see offset. It may or may not be on the right hand side on your computer. I don't know. So offset. And then on offset, you want to run that up to about four. This is going to change for whatever you want to do personally. Uh, I actually want those two to connect, so I'm going to go a little more. Let's see what four and a half looks like. Okay, let's go to five. I'm good with five. Yep, I'm good with five. So we're going to go with five. So once you've done that, go back into your objects layer. Happy baby. And we're going to combine. Combine is the opposite of break apart. We want it combined now. Hit combine. Now we have one path. Go into extensions, ink stitch params. And go, I'm going to leave automatically routed fill stitching. I'm going to leave that one selected this time, but I'm going to unselect under path and I'm going to unselect underlay on the under on the autofill underlay. Now we'll go back into this. We'll do our 45 degree angle, do a two inch uh, stitch length. And a 1.25. I'm going to show you. That looks really nice. I'm going to show you why I'm keeping it auto. If you go to manual fill. And I'm going to set the same numbers. 45. 2. And 1.25. One You'll see how there's a lot of. A lot of uh, extra jump stitching going on. You really don't want that 
you're doing you're doing such a your stitches are so far apart you can see whatever happens underneath theoretically if you're doing a white under if you're doing a white knockdown on top of a white cloth you're probably not going to see it but to make it better we can do the automatic fill make sure this underpath is unchecked and make sure that your underlay is unchecked doing those two things now we have a very clean layout i'm going to hit apply now on this text path i'm going to duplicate we'll go into extensions ink stitch params everything should be already set except for we want to reverse this angle beautiful beautiful now remember that in ink stitch your machine will sew from bottom up on your object layer so you're right now the ink stitch lettering for satin stitch will be first we definitely don't want that i'm going to hit this up button now it will not be first go into ink stitch oh, hold on make sure i'm selected on my full layer here we're going to do a real quick troubleshoot. Outstanding. And then we're going to do a real quick visualize. Speed that up. Now there's jump stitches in the satin stitch, but those are trimmed pretty easily. So there you have it. I'm going to sew this out so that you can see it. See what it looks like. And I'm going to sew it out with my underlay white on my white towel that I've already shown you. Push shift and select both of those. I'm going to hit the white button. Make that underlie white. And the, the Linux. I don't know what I'll do on that yet, but I'll be back momentarily. And we're back this is what it looks like in picture form and that's a little bit closer zoomed in looks pretty good that's all for this one thanks for watching